We're going to do some geocaching at Labaku. We're going to do some do geocaching at Labaki. We're going to do some geocaching at Labaki. We're going to do some geocaching here. Why don't you Google it? We're here at Labaku Conservation Area in Missouri and we're going to pick up a few geocaches. So why didn't you join us? There are several valleys in this conservation area and uh, as you can see there's lots of ups and downs as well. This is a beautiful March day. The temperature in actual fact is in the 70s today. The caches we're going to pick up are all around about three and a half terrain and the difficulty to find is all of them are above two and a half. So we're in for, we're in for quite an adventure. As you can see, my GPS unit is telling me I'm within a third of a mile, but uh, unfortunately, it's pointing us downhill. Well, it's good to get your feet back on the car. Well, it's been quite a excruciating climb down. And I'll take the blame for that. I keep getting off the paths and end up in the thicket. But I think we're getting close. Let's keep going. Clue for this one says slab rock and my GPS unit is telling me I'm within 20 feet so I'm thinking it may be under this ledge. I think I may have spotted it. I was looking under the, the wrong rock. Hello kitty. All good to go. Why didn't you come and get it? Quite a rocky area and we come up about 150 feet from the cache so I suspect it's going to be tucked away in one of these rocky outcrops. As we're arriving, 16 feet and there it is. I can. I would suspect the same uh, cash owner, it's well kitted out. As long as you keep on the trails, these will be uh, good geocaches to bring young kids out to. Just in case you get caught short in the woods. And you can't be a smiley. All good to go. Why don't you come and get it? My GPS unit is telling me I'm right on it and that log looks very suspicious. Let's take a look. And there it is. This one's a, a new cache. In actual fact it's a virtual and uh, the challenge that comes with it is to spell out the word virtual with previous other virtuals that you found. And so you've had to find a, a virtual beginning with V and then so on in order to qualify for this cache. I like the way they've got this pen in. It's on a magnet. That's neat. First time I've seen that. So we'll put it back in place. back in place, all good to go. Why didn't you come and get it? I'll check that virtual out when I get on. I'll just look through uh, my previous finds, see if I've got any that will help me spell out the word virtual. Well, the GPS unit is uh, telling me it's down below. The question is, how do we get down below? This doesn't look too bad a spot. Hey, and look, it's even got a bridge. On second thoughts, I can imagine during flood season the amount of water that would be rushing through here. Here we go. I 
I think with this one being near a floodplain, they decided to move it up the bank a little bit so it didn't get carried away with any Russian water that might come through here. And there it be. Another solid ammo can. A little bit of swag. Here's his eye. All good to go. Why don't you come and get it? Again, we're not in uh, flood season yet. We're waiting for the spring to come around. But you can imagine the water rushing through over these rocks and perhaps uh, moving some of these rocks and even wearing away some of these rocks. Look at what has happened over the years. And that's where the water comes through. Making my way back to the vehicle. So just remember, keep on cashing.